So a quick overview, this is music in the brain. Um, so some of the main things that music can do is change your ability to receive time, tap into primal fear, reduce seizures, and make you a better communicator. So when it changes your ability to re re receive time, a lot of times um, places and that use waiting rooms that when you have to wait for stuff, or especially like when you're on the phone with like a bank or something, they use music and it actually distracts you. It distracts your brain into thinking more about the music than like the time. And it can really change that. And also fear. So um, in horror movies especially, um, they use suspenseful music to trick your brain into thinking that like you're actually scared. And if you, if you um, tell the difference, if you take a clip that is used in just like a regular clip without any background music with the suspenseful music and just like um, the clip, then you can see a very vast difference in that. Um, it can also, main thing that music is used for is music therapy and it is a clinical way to reduce stress and increase personalization and mood of a patient. And this is used usually in rehab from military service and veterans and it can help with trauma and PTSD as well as autism patients with familiarity of their surroundings and in correctional settings. Um, that is mainly used in correctional settings actually in a mental hospital as well. And that helps with communication skills and peaceful music that they play um, reduces the random outbursts of violence. Um, music can also affect mood, creativity, and memory, especially stress relief. And lastly, the origin of music. Music has been around since the very beginning of time in Bible times where they would actually, they would try to mimic the sounds of nature that they would hear from many random house items they could find. And that is the origin of many instruments as well. So that's mine.